You're a good kitty, aren't you? I know I hassle you sometimes, but you're a good kitty. Yes. Hey, everybody. Are you ready for some good news? Hey, okay, first up, scientists at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory have found a metal that conducts electricity but doesn't conduct heat. There's a principle in physics, the Wiedemann-Franz law, which states that objects which conduct electricity well also conduct heat well. But according to this recent Berkeley lab study, this law does not appear to apply to vanadium dioxide, or VO2. While studying the properties of VO2, the Berkeley lab scientists found, to their surprise, that its rate of thermal conductivity was 10 times lower than it should have been, according to the Wiedemann-Franz law. Electrons move through VO2 differently than they move through other metals. Their motions are more like a fluid than like a series of individual particles. The discovery of its low thermal conductivity only adds to the potential usefulness of VO2, which was already known to be an incredibly versatile material. It can be tuned to act as a metal or as an insulator, and its ability to conduct heat can also be tuned by mixing it with other materials. Potential applications include temperature control systems for engines and energy efficient window coatings. The study is published in the journal Science. Up next, a clinical study has produced evidence that a new treatment which incorporates a patient's own stem cells can induce remission in relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. The treatment is called HDIT-HCT, which stands for High Dose Immunosuppressive Therapy and Autologous Hematopoietic Cell Transplant. It's designed to first suppress active MS, that's the HDIT part, then prevent MS from relapsing and progressing by resetting the patient's immune system with their own blood-forming stem cells. That would be the HCT part. The results of this extended clinical trial, which began five years ago, have been very encouraging. Today, five years after receiving the treatment, 69% of the participants in the study remain in remission with no progression of MS-related disability. And that's without taking any MS medications following the treatment. These findings still need to be confirmed by other studies, of course, but if they are, HDIT-HCT could someday be a standard treatment for people struggling with relapsing remitting MS. The study is published in the journal Neurology. And finally, researchers in Japan are developing a transmitter that could result in mobile networks 10 times faster than the current generation. A team at Hiroshima University is working on the transmitter, which is capable of transmitting data at a speed of 105 gigabits per second using the terahertz or THZ band. THZ frequencies are not currently allocated for telecommunications, but their usage is set to be discussed at the next World Radio Communication Conference in 2019. The members of the Hiroshima University team believe that their device, which transmits data at 10 times the rate of 5G networks, will enable not just faster wireless downloads, but ultra-high-speed links to satellites, which could revolutionize global telecommunications. More details about the THZ transmitter will be presented at the International Solid State Circuits Conference being held this week in San Francisco. An amazing metal conducts electricity, but not heat. A new stem cell therapy induces MS to stay in remission. And a terahertz transmitter could lead to the ultra-high-speed wireless networks of the future. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Or I will. I'll see you next time. She'll probably slip through it again. <laughs>